What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is an unboxing of a case for my Google 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, this is the case that came with it. It is quite dirty. I was working in automotive. <laughs> my hands were always really dirty when I grabbed my phone and the case just became really dirty. And that's not the reason I wanted to do it anyway. I wanted to do it because UAG is awesome and I have UAG on all of my other things. This is a mat that I use to fix my RC cars. Like this one right here. I just figured that I spend more time working on my RC cars than I do actually recording videos. And I needed a space to fix my broken RC cars when I smash them in the trees at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> so here we go. This is an unboxing of the UAG Pixel 6 Pro Scout series. I've had this for quite a while. I just have not gotten around to actually making the video, and I do apologize. That is a combination of the holidays, working like absolute crazy, and even still trying to work on my days off. And on my days that I do have off, like today, it's like, okay, I got to do laundry, I've got to fold clothes, I got to put up clothes, I got to... I got to take out the trash. Like, I got to do all these things that I have not done in several days. So, anyways. Goodbye, old dirty case. Hello, new case. You can go ahead and read the back of it here. Oversized tactile buttons. Feather-like construction. Soft impact-resistant core. And the easiest way for me to open it would be just to tear it up. All right, it's very simple, very, very simple. We've got the case, we've got our beautiful phone. Unfortunately, not the greatest phone right now, but it's it's it could be someday, it could be. There we go. I do really, really love this phone. I love the camera on this phone. I love this phone, just the software right now is not at its best. They are providing updates that are continuously making it better. The fingerprint sensor is a little bit better. Well, it's, it's actually quite a bit better than it used to be, but I still find myself uh, getting frustrated and just using the code to unlock it. I wish it had face unlock uh, and fingerprint unlock. That would be awesome. Or if they would have just like put it in the back like they have on all their other pixels so far. But this is something that software can fix with updates and it has gotten a little bit better. Uh, battery life on this thing, you... Don't touch it, and you'll watch it deplete really fast. Uh, I definitely keep batteries, such as this uh, Anchor. This one's actually a really good one. This is 60 watts, but I keep a 20-watt one in my jacket at all times because I find myself needing to use it to charge up this phone. Not, not the best battery life, but like I said, all the issues we're having, besides maybe the fingerprint sensor, I don't know because it is kind of hardware, software can fix so that's just my kind of like thoughts on this phone. I don't have a whole lot to say other than uh, it's a pixel. And what that means is you get the very latest version of Android at all times. Android 13, Android 4. Everyone's waiting for the old version of Android you had forever ago. And you've been having it. And you're fixing to get the new version. Or you already have the new version. So I do love this phone. But it would be nice if the fingerprint sensor was a lot more reliable, the battery was better. Anyways, this isn't a review of this phone because I am terrible at reviews and I really don't have much to say other than it's a Google Pixel, it's an awesome phone, it's only going to get better with software updates and the hardware is top notch, the phone looks amazing and this case makes it feel really good because now it's not as slippery as before and you still got those buttons, like giant buttons there, power, volume up and down. And really, that's it. You got your microphone and then your speaker, microphone, charging port. Uh, and that is one thing I do love about having a fast charging phone. This thing charges at about 25 watts. So when the battery is dead, it charges up pretty quickly. Not as fast as some phones can, but at the end of the day, it's, it's still pretty decently fast. This case is awesome. I definitely... So far, I recommend it. This is probably my favorite one of all because of just how like crazy tough it is. It's just, it's awesome. And I definitely want one of these for this phone. But it does kind of help because I keep both of these phones in the same pocket. 
and it does kind of help to know which one's which just by the feel of the phone. Thank you for checking out my video. Sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded. I have gotten something in there. At this point, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be peeled off, but it's kind of poking out and it's driving me crazy, so... Oh, boy. That's like some seal or something, I bet. I don't know. I'm going to leave that one alone and stop peeling at it. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. This screen scratches incredibly easy, and I don't like screen protectors on phones where all the time I'm using gestures, and when you have a screen protector that stops, you've got like this spot here where it's like it doesn't detect that you used... The... Anyways, I haven't found a screen protector that I'm happy with, and this phone scratches very easily. There are many light scratches all over this phone now but it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I have another channel that I upload RC content to, so if you are remotely interested in watching me absolutely destroy my uh, RC cars, because <laughs> they're both broken right now, <laughs> waiting on uh, parts, and it's not always my fault. I promise. It's not always my fault. Traxxas does not make the best electronics, and one of them, the servo died again, and on the other one, the ESC died again. Again, so if you're interested in seeing me upgrade those to like Hobbywing Max 8 or, you know, new servos and stuff. Anyways, if you're interested in RC content at all, check out my other channel. It's Josh Does RC. It's linked below. It has been for years. Uh, it used to be my like vlog channel, but then I never really vlogged. But anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, I've got another video to make that will be up shortly after this one. Thank you. Links to this product will be in the description below. I did order this from UAG's website. I ordered some gear as well, like some clothing, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to making a video of it. So I do have some UAG gear, like some some swag, some some merch that I need to do a video on. Thank you for watching. It's really weird how there's like this little, I don't know, that's kind of bugging me in a way. Look how, like, look at that. And then there's like, I don't know. It's so weird. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is what Josh do, and I am out.